All right, welcome back to your balance diet of Talitemen, the Good Morning Ninja Show. Now, I'm going to talk about things where they happen for inside Wobodo Lagos, especially concerning the BRT buses, because with the yes, some kind of informate say they don't increase, or rather, there's a proposed bill on ground to increase the price um, of um, people where they actually enter um, BRT. So, if you, in a person, where we say they pay 100 naira before, uh, if you don't actually increase concerning the matter where they on ground. But we'll be speak uh, with the head of the BRT bus operator. And if it, you are not some kind of things concerning this information, it will be the circulate around for inside we do Lagos. You want to know more? Make you watch this interview. the regulators and we will seek an increase. We've not even started with the regulators yet. So how did that become an increase? If this collapses, it's going to be worse for everybody because the DAFOs are going to jack up their prices almost three, four times what everybody's paying right now. So it's in everybody's interest to make sure it does not collapse, that it's sustainable. Do you know that from TBS to Ikurudu, People are paying less than a dollar. We just spent $1.5 million buying parts to fix what and put them on the road. But the people are paying us less than a dollar. Do you know even diesel? I'm sure we paid for diesel three years ago. Last week, I just paid 250 naira for a, uh, a liter of diesel. I have to pay, whether I like it or not. Because if we don't pay, the buses can't run. Everybody's demanding service from Primary, which is fine. But there's a cost associated with the service. It has to be paid for. If the AC doesn't work, everybody complains. If the buses are dirty, everybody complains. If the buses are late, everybody complains. If people spend too long on the care everybody complains. Those services need to be paid for. Do you know that this London that everybody keeps yelling and telling me about, 35% of London transport cost is subsidized by the government? 35%. Every year, and yet they get an increase every year. We don't get an increase, we don't get any subsidy. According to the agreement we signed with Lamanda with Lagos State, if we can demonstrate that our price has gone up, they will give us an increase. So, which I can easily demonstrate. If you can demonstrate that we're not covering our costs, they, you know, so that's the agreement we signed with them. So, and all of that we can show. Every, there's a social nature to, to this business, okay? And that's what everybody's hyping up, oh, our dividend of democracy, which is fine. But you don't pass that to a private company. You do not pass that to a private company. It's just like saying your TV station should be doing what NTA is doing without any help from the government. Will you be able to do it? Believe it or not. This is actually the best interest of the Russian for us to have this discussion. Because, God forbid, if this fails, nobody is going to go near public transportation for the next 20, 25 years in this Nigeria. You cannot expect us to be paying 25% in our interests. You cannot expect us to be you know, buying this at 250. And and still, it's, it, 
it's not sustainable. And we are willing to open our books to anybody that wants to look at it. We don't have anything to add. Actually, we went to the bond market last year and we were able to raise 16.5 billion uh, on the bond market. So, our books are open. It's more, we're more or less like a quoted, uh, quoted company now because all those people that invested in the bonds are asking for our books. Uh, they, so, our books, they're public records. Yes, we don't have anything to hide. And now that we've gone to the bond market, we have to, you know, there are rules, our CSC rules and all that kind of stuff, so we have to comply with all of that. So we have to monthly tell the bond or the bond market what we are doing, how we are doing it and everything. So I don't have anything to hide. The books are open. Anybody that wants to look at it is free to look at it. But we have a pen chart in this country which is sad. We look at the revenue side. We forget the cost side. If you get a contract in our government now, they say they give you a contract for one billion. Everybody, oh, we've got a contract for one billion. But the one billion is not your profit. You still have to go do the work. But everybody, all they are looking at is the one billion. And everybody looks at the revenue side. But if you don't look at the cost side, you have to take both of them because you are running a company. Both of them must balance. But in Nigeria, we think, oh, our pensioners will just look at the revenue. Oh, but they are making next one. You know, you can be bringing in 10 billion a month and still be trouble. If you're bringing 10 billion a month and your cost is 12 billion, that means each month you are losing 2 billion. Yes, you are bringing a lot of money in, but you are still losing. As a company, that means you have to do something, you know, urgently, because if, you, if, if that keeps happening, you're going to go out of business. If I want to bring new bosses, I have to go to the bank. I have to ask them to, you know, I have to ask them for a loan. You know, if you want to buy 100 bosses, just 100. Okay? Assume each one costs you about 125,000 US dollars. Okay? That means 100 is how much it pass. Should be about 12 million dollars. If you take 12 million dollars times 360, how much is that? You're talking almost about uh, 10 million is about 3.6. Uh, so you're talking almost about 5 billion just for buying the buses. If not, you have to bring them into the country, you have to pay customs, you have to pay... Before you do it, you're almost at about six, 6 billion, just for 100. So, the money involved is a lot of money. We see the demand, okay? And we believe it can work. But, we need to have this discussion now. Who pays for what? Once we have this discussion, trust me, we'll invest definitely. We've already submitted uh, an offer that we'd like to uh, run a million that we should be. Yeah, if you give it to us, we'll be, uh, I think they're asking for 300 buses for that. But each one must be sustainable. First of all, we plan to reduce the waiting time for everyone. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.